Hello and welcome back to Twins Reviews. Today we're reviewing the newer Auto Dolly. Let's jam. Alright, today we are taking care of the Auto Dolly by Newer. I have been using this product a lot for the previous videos. And let's take care of the packaging here. It's very compact, very nice. Has all the things you need, the remote control, charging cable, and of course the auto dolly with a extra uh, rubber wheel that you can uh, replace and a mount for the either like the camera or a tripod, a ball head or something like that uh, so you can get some more movement. Overall, great packaging, uh, very compact, and uh, we love to see it. Uh, thank you, Newer, for making another great product for a reasonable price. So the first thing that I do want to say is that we are recording with a different camera. We're trying to do this in 4K. So if you think that the, well, the background does look different. So if you notice that, then that's why uh, we're trying out new stuff to see if we can uh, better the set a little bit and to just try it out in better quality. We'll see how it works. And this will play later on in the video when we talk about this thing because the camera is a newer, better version of what we had. So uh, yeah, let's get on and talking about this. So I got this uh, not too long ago um, and I've been using it for consistently for the past review videos. If you've seen any moving shots on white background, it was mostly for the headphones, but this was all done with this and an older camera, which is up there, one of, one of the cameras over there. Um, it was a pretty consumer grade camera, so it couldn't do much. So this was a lifesaver for those kind of videos. Looking at this, uh, this slider or auto dolly does go around for like $80, I would say on Amazon. We can link the, uh, the best link down in the description. And also before I get into talking about the actual, like how it looks and the design and stuff, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below where we we hit 350 subscribers recently and we're trying to thank grow even that. more and thank you for all the continued support. What I was saying about this is that it does look pretty cool. It's got this little uh, cool black and bronze desi design to it or black and orange, I guess, but it's pretty cool. And it also has got these uh, two wheels on the sides that can kind of move around here, fold in, fold out, uh, and it slides around with these, uh, these wheels like so. And obviously it's got the controls here. You got an off, on, and a USB, a USB insert right here. And also there is a speed control right here on this side. And uh, this does come with a control, I guess a controller uh, for the slider. This slider has uh, three different speeds. I usually like it on speed one, so the slowest, so I can get the smoothest shots. And pretty much how it works is it stands on these wheels and the little orange things that are slightly up that don't touch the ground are the ones moving and moving the wheels and by uh, fixing the offset of the wheels you can make it rotate in a circle which is what I usually do or you can also put this on a slider it has the ability to put uh, to be put on a slider but I found that that has made things difficult because it doesn't really lock onto a slider it might be able to like even a slight offset can make it like start drifting off so it's not the you can use it for that especially if you have the correct slider slider, but you pretty much just prop it on there and it can move along the slider. One more thing to know is that it does make noise when it moves. So if you're trying to record audio in a quiet room and you're using this, it's not going to work. Um, usually when I was using this, I was recording B-roll for products, which is probably why you want to use this. B-roll for products is consistent, nice motion, so I don't actually need audio. So that is what I was using it for. Yeah, and also I have a feeling that this, uh, this kind of slider is better for uh, things that are smaller, because obviously you're not gonna cover like a large, uh, like a large section or a large product or a large distance with this. It's very small, it's like, uh, a little bit bigger than the size of your hand, I guess. Uh, for small things, it's really good. You'll get very nice shots. As you've seen in our videos before, uh, we'll probably play some, uh, some B-roll up on the screen yep. right now so you know how it looks. And um, yeah, so for that, for that kind of stuff, it's very good. I very much do recommend it. Yeah, it is a pretty cheap, uh, cheap investment for something that uh, can make your footage so smooth. And now I want to talk about why it was important for me to bring up the new camera that we have, which is a Lumix G9. So it is known for its in incredible stabilization when using handheld. 
uh, unlike the Canon that I was using last time, which is a Canon T6i, a pretty consumer grade camera. This was a huge lifesaver for that camera because it doesn't have the best stabilization on some of the lenses yes. that I own for it. So this made it, it does, it's not perfect. It's not perfect inch to inch smooth movement, but once you apply a warp stabilizer on it in post, you can make this look real nice with this uh, with this auto dolly. So for cameras that don't have really great uh, stabilization, this is even better. Now that I have the new camera, will I be using this? I don't know. I might still be using this because I do like the consistent motion that I get from it. Also, we'll probably talk about the G9 in a separate video. We might do a review about the camera. So if you do want to see that, make sure to let us know in the comments and also just like the video and let us know. Uh, obviously, as I've said before, this goes for around 80 bucks on Amazon. I'd say it's a pretty good investment if uh, you don't have a camera that's uh, great at stabilizing or you want to record uh, small stuff like that. Uh, make sure to pick it up down in the, in the link below. But even if you have a camera with yes. good stabilization, this still might be a, con a good option for you because obviously the small movement and you can have it move in a like circle, you do have to play around with it. It's not like you just set it and it automatically works. You have to make sure that it spins around your product evenly. So trial and error and the more you use it, the better you're gonna be with it. Now there is one more thing to note and uh, to get the full, uh, the full ability of this auto dolly, you need something like this. This is usually on every tripod or at least on every good tripod. Yeah. It's a ball head tripod so that you can screw it in on this. This, this head is actually heavier than the actual robot, but it still doesn't imp impair the movement of it. So it's still great. Uh, so you will want to invest into something to give you, so you can point the camera. So like if I, um, if I let this out, yeah, to place I can the camera on literally it. move in the best, in the most position I need. I can point yeah. it down, point it up because you might not always be at a steady level. Mm -hmm. You can just mount the camera on it, but it'll always be and forever be on a, on a steady level. So there you can't point it down, tilt it up if your product is on the ground. And this is obviously higher than the ground, so it probably won't catch it. So a ball head, usually if you have a tripod, you probably already have this. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's review. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe with notifications on and also follow us on Instagram at twins review and also check out our blog page in the description down below and you can also buy this uh, Product as well. There's an Amazon link down below. It helps us out a little bit uh, if you use that and That's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Peace